Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Now, one interesting thing that Dokkan did when uh, Dokkan Fest Hit came out is they gave an awakening for the uh, physical SR Batamo, and then they also gave an awakening for the STR uh, SR Automageddon. Now, personally, I, I think I would have much rather that those two units awaken into like an SSR version of those characters, because right now, like, you know, th these are the only like Batamo and Automageddon cards we have, right? And then there also is, of course, the summonable Boda Mageta. Uh, I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity, though, especially since they gave us a really good summonable Boda Mageta, that they don't kind of awaken both of these, you know, Batamo and, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Auto Mageta cards into. Like, it, here's the thing. You know, these guys are good. It's just that that in summonable Boda Mageta, he's really, really strong. Like, I actually really like that unit a lot, but... The one good thing about this, I guess, is that they did make him uh, farmable, right? Because it, well, I say farmable, you still got to summon these guys, but it's very easy to get, you know, SR Batamos and SR Automagettas. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're kind of going to do a showcase for both the physical Botamagetta as well as the SCR Botamagetta. Now, typically, you know, I, I would make uh, every unit get their own video, but I, I think this unit is just a little bit different because... They have the exact same art. These are like counterpart cards, right? So like it's where okay, there is Automageddon right there. He's right next to him. Uh, since they're like basically the same card, just like they have the same art, right? It, they do different things, but it's essentially the same thing, right? So what we'll do is we'll go into an event uh, with one of them on the team, and then we'll go into a second event uh, with the other on the team. We'll sort of look at them both. Uh, we'll do a breakdown for both at the end. Uh, and then after this, uh, I'll probably start... I have to uh, farm up uh, the Int Boda Maged. I, I still got to farm up his super attack. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and rainbow this guy and hop in. Uh, I do have orbs set aside for this guy to rainbow him. Because I'm not, like, rainbowing a ton of units right now. I don't have a lot of orbs. But for this Boda Maged, he's really good. So I will indeed give him orbs. So... Let me level these guys up, and then we'll go ahead and hop into an event and see how solid they could be for, you know, uh, awakened SRs, essentially. Alright guys, so we are in an event uh, on the double uh, hit Universe 6 team. Uh, here, of course, is Bodemageta. Such a goofy, like... <laughs> it's such a goofy thing. <laughs> like, you know, oh, we're gonna put Batamo on top of Mageta to cover his ears to, to stop his only weakness, which is that he's, you know, super sensitive. Uh, very, very wacky. Now, I'm actually going to float him off right here. And, you know, unfortunately, the Universal Star team is a little too good in terms of key. So, uh, but here's the thing. On the next rotation that we have, that Boda Mageta, uh, we should have him on a rotation with God, Topo, and Champa. And it's going to be in a situation where we're facing two or more enemies. Because this Boda Mageta gets two key and 70% attack and defense from facing only one enemy. That's quite good. Uh, then he gets an additional 2 key and 30% attack and defense when facing 2 or more enemies. So, again, that, that's also not too bad. Uh, so, I want to avoid super attacks if possible here. Uh, hmm. I guess we can avoid a super attack with hit. Well, nah, I kind of want hit the super attack, actually. Because uh, hit, you know, could lower attack, stun. Uh, but I kind of want to... I want to try and stall so that on this next rotation, you know, we're going up against Oob, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. Uh, that way we have, you know, the Boda Mageta. We've got the rotation we're looking for. I think this unit uh, at the rainbow level could be a very decent option, especially for free-to-play players. Because especially, wow, 2.93 million hits? Okay. Uh, especially if you look at the fact that, you know, like, it's only an SR. Like, that's what this card is. Wow. All right. Uh, double support units on rotation for hit. Uh, that's, that's what happens right there. <laughs> uh, very good. Now, okay, this is an issue. Uh, okay, so our only hope is to attack the units that they have type disadvantage to. So we'll have Jiren attack Goten. Uh, 17 is going to attack Majub. And then we're going to have Hit attack Gohan. And that way, I mean, hopefully one really... As long as one of those three units survive, then in the next rotation, we will have Bodom get his passive. So, as long as all three of them do not crit, we're good. Okay, we're already good. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, when... See, here's the issue. Sometimes showcases can get a little... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Sometimes showcases can get a bit annoying when your whole 
box is rainbowed because, you know, for situations like this where I don't want to destroy all of them before we get Bodom again as passive active, but then, like, you know, they'd be critting and additional supering and stuff. Like, that always happens. Like, you know, in particular, I, I can think of just, like, Turles has always given me issues with, um, you know, transforming and, you know, like, the stunning enemies when I've wanted to take damage. Like, things like that, Turles has always done. So, okay, here we go. Uh, this is the exact rotation we're looking for. Uh, we will be able to see what kind of numbers uh, our boy Boda Megetta, the SCR version, is going to be able to do here. Because, of course, he is a Universe 6 category unit. So, you know, he is getting the 40% attack and defense from Champa. Uh, he also shares rival duo with God Topo, plus the 35% from God Topo's passive. Then God Topo also gives a little attack multiplier on his super attack. So this is going to be a very solid rotation for this SCR Boda Megetta right here. Uh, I feel like at the rainbow level uh, in this situation, like he would break a 1 million attack stat. I, I don't know. What is he going to hit here? 700,000? 600,000? 600,000. Okay. Yeah, I feel like he probably could break uh, 1 million attack stat at the rainbow level. Maybe. We, you know, we'll see. Uh, the other thing about him, too, is he does lower attack on super attack. So that's always very, very helpful, uh, lowering attack on super attack. Uh, I, I really like that mechanic. I really like units that have that. Interesting. And then the physical Bodom again, it does not lower attack. It's hard to say which one I like better. I think I might like this SCR, uh, Boda Megetta, a little bit better, actually, uh, than the physical one. The physical one is good with defense, but there's a little bit RNG, and they lower defense on super, whereas this SCR one, at the very least, is going to have 70% attack and defense, uh, and then they also lower attack on super attack. So I think uh, the SCR uh, Boda Megetta, they probably have a better sort of uh, situation than the physical Boda Megetta has got. So, all right, we're able to see what the SCR Boda Megetta can do. Uh, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at his stats, his details, uh, all of that good stuff. So, this right here is Ingenious Scheme on a grand scale Boda Megetta. Uh, his leader skill is physical type enemies attack minus 40%. I mean, maybe if you want to try shenanigans on Super Battle Road, I guess that's the only thing with his leader skill. Uh, the super attack is Volcano Explosion, which does supreme damage and lowers attack. Their passive skill is Steam Burst, which does key 2 and attack and defense 70% when facing only one enemy, plus an additional 2 key and 30% attack and defense when facing 2 or more enemies. So, uh, you know, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, then, of course, his links are Tough as Nails, In Fighter, more than meets the eye, rival duo, turn of power, warriors of universe six, and then fierce battle. That's not bad. Uh, then of course his focus multiplier is 140 percent, and he is on three category teams. Now what's interesting is it seems as though they're only on joint forces on JP. I mean that's going to get rectified eventually. Uh, Universal survival arc. They're on uh, universe six, and then of course they are also on the joined forces category. All right, guys, so at this point, let's just go ahead and take a look at the physical Boda Megetta and, you know, see what he's sort of all about. All right, guys, so we're on the same exact team, you know, Universe 6 slash Universal Survival Arc, and here we have the physical version of Boda Megetta. Now, the, uh, the SCR one was able to do some decent damage. Now, here's the physical one. Their passive is 80% defense and then a high chance to reduce damage received by 50%. I do like defensive units, and like honestly, the 50% the, the 50 chance uh, to reduce damage by 50% is not that bad, but I do, I don't know, I just feel like the, the SCR one is going to be a bit more useful, especially because in terms of defense, uh, I, I would prefer the insummonable version one anyway, right? So that's kind of the thing there, but we'll do the same rotation. Uh, and we'll see what uh, the physical Boda Megetta is going to be able to do. Obviously, uh, the damage numbers that they're going to put out is going to be a lot less. Um, you know, 80% defense is solid, but it's like, you know, the SCR one gets key. They get the defensive buff, and they get the attack buff. Like, it, it, it's, it's only, yeah, it's 364,000. Now, of course, they could have gotten slightly higher. Just, just wow, Champa got his passive. But, you know, just slightly higher if Topo would have super attack right there, but not enough for them to, like, do any sort of meaningful, realistic damage. So, I don't know. It, it, it's up to y'all. I, I, I think these units would have worked a lot better again, uh, like, if it had been 
you know, just like a Botamo and an Automageddon. Like, they could have made the units literally exactly the same, just like Botamo and Automageddon, and it, I think it would have worked a lot better than, you know, kind of doing what they did, because they went the option, obviously, where they wanted to make it to where Botamageddon was, like, you know, semi-farmable, but overall, I, it would have been more beneficial for a better, like, Botamo and Automageddon card, because, like, those are two characters, I mean... They definitely deserve, like, a decent, like, SSR version. One for the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament arc, and then another for the Universe Survival arc. And, like, we kind of, we don't have one for either. We just got the combo, you know, Automageddon from the Universal Survival arc. So, uh, one thing I would like to see Dokkan improve on, but, you know, it's just one of those things where, like, Dokkan, like, you know, sort of released units differently back when the Universe 6 versus 7 tournament arc was, like, on TV. But then, you know, once they moved on to the future Trunks arc of Goku Black and stuff, they did give the proper respect to all of those characters, so that's good. And then, of course, you know, that physical Goku Black Easy Ace coming up, it's going to be very, very interesting uh, to see how good he is going to be. So, I figure we'll go ahead and let uh, our boy Botamageta get one more turn in, uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the breakdown for him. And we will finish up for today. Uh, also, 17 is going to be a very good unit on the, the Hit team. Because, you know, of course, Hit with his weaker defense, you know, linked up with Jiren for Cold Judgment will be helpful. You know, God Topo will give 35% defense to Hit. And then also, you know, uh, Android 17 can give a defensive buff as well. So, uh, all right. So, 295,000. Certainly not the most impressive number. I mean, he did... You know, okay, okay, this would be good. How much will he tank hit super attack? Uh, and he takes 55,000. That's very good. That certainly was him uh, with his passive act of the high chance to reduce damage received by 50%. Uh, if I rainbowed this unit, I would, of course, give him 15 dodge. Uh, I probably wouldn't for the SCR one, though. The SCR one, I might go crits. But, you know, this physical Botamageta definitely would I go for dodge for this guy. All right, so this guy has the same name, Ingenious Scheme on a Grand Scale Botamageta. Leader skill is reduced damage received by 40%. Super attack is a volcano explosion, just like the STR one, uh, except this one does supreme damage and lowers defense, which, of course, is less useful. Uh, his passive skill, Damage Countermeasures, is defense plus 80%, and then a high chance to reduce damage received by 50%. Honestly, I do think they could have just made the damage received minus 50%, and, like, you know, he's still... Like, like, it's not like that would have been OP. I think that would have been a much uh, sort of better idea. Because, like, the int Botamageta is, of course, you know, better. Like, his passive where he gets, you know, attack and defense 100%. And then guard activates against all attacks when HP is 80% or below. And, and of course, he just has higher stats. Like, you know, the int uh, Botamageta definitely going to be a more solid one. Uh, links, of course, are exactly the same. Tough as nails, in fighter. More than meets the eye, rival duo, turn of power, warriors of universe 6, and fierce battle. Uh, same 12p multiplier, 140%. And then, of course, the same three categories, universal survival arc, universe 6, as well as joined forces. So, there we go, guys. There is the physical and STR Botamagetas. I did want to do a video on them, even if their main purpose is to be used as fodder, as safe fodder, for the imp Botamagetas. So, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.